Hey there guys, Robert J. Morris here once again. Hey, I was just uh, going back through some earlier uh, articles I was reading uh, before uh, this whole thing kind of started to develop. And it's kind of funny because we were on the topic of airplanes. Uh, earlier this morning, I guess, uh, yeah, uh, at the meeting of the Security Council of the RF on the results of investigating the causes of the crash of the Russian aircraft in the Sinai, Chief of the FSB, Alexander Bortnikov, reported to the President Vladimir Putin that the crash of the Russian aircraft A321 had been caused by the explosion of an improvised explosive device with a capacity of up to one kilograms of TNT. Vladimir Putin said that the terrorists involved in the explosion on board of the Russian aircraft A321 would be found anywhere in the world. And he, I quote, We must do it without the statute of limitations and know them all by name. We will look for them wherever they may be hiding. We will find them at whatever place on the planet and punish them, said the president. Does this all sound familiar? Yeah. Listen, we got presidents and prime ministers going off on rampages all of a sudden. This is not going to be an isolated event. That is my personal prediction and my opinion. Uh, what else did this guy say? Uh, he said he warned in a, in a search for those responsible for the crash of the A321, Russia would be guided by the Article 51 of the UN Charter on the right to self-defense. Anyone who will try to assist the criminals must know that the consequences of the attempts of concealment will lie entirely on their shoulders, says Vladimir Putin. The president also instructed the Russian Foreign Ministry to appeal to all the partners of the Russian Federation in order to find and punish the perpetrators of the terrorist attack in the course of this work, including finding and punishing the perpetrators. We count on all of our friends. He instructed the security services to focus on this work. And goes on to say, the murder of our people of the, in the Sinai is among the bloodiest in the number of victims. We are not going to wipe the tears from our hearts and souls. This tragedy will remain with us forever. However, it will not stop us from finding and punishing the perpetrators, said the Russian president. Punishing the perpetrators. That seems to be the, uh, the tone being set here, apparently. And... Uh, for in out of respect for the people there says a 321 airliner uh the Kogelmavia airlines flying from egypt to saint petersburg crashed in the sinai in the morning of october 31st and there were 224 people on board of the aircraft all of which have died i do believe what we are seeing is we're we're, we're seeing we're seeing we're seeing news flying in from different from different uh, areas of the political table, if I guess you could say, and that's telling me right now is that we've got different we've got different blood hunts happening at the same time, and even though this is happening all the time in the real world, it's not being covered by the MSM all the time in the real world. Um, it's a phony fake world. My guess is that we're going to see more of this. I hope not, but we'll see what happens. All right, guys. It's Robert J. Morris out for now. Peace. Take these walls and rip them, rip them down.